Hi, we are continuing to look at computer components, although now looking at ports, which are really part of a component. So first of all, what is meant by a computer port? Well, a port is an interface between a computer and another device. An interface is like a boundary between one thing and something else, in this case, a computer and another device, like I say. So this picture is of the IO shield of a motherboard. So the motherboard is kind of poking out of the case with this panel and we can see a bunch of different ports so the little holes are the ports in this motherboard shield now they're different shapes they've got different purposes they work with different cables and the idea of course as you'll know from experience is you plug in say a monitor to the correct port so you can't you know the cable is designed to go into one type of port and not others now the idea of a port is because it's an interface, because it's a boundary, is to transfer one thing from outside, inside. And so usually this is data. In the case of a monitor, this will be the video and audio being transferred in and out of the computer, but also sometimes power. So power can be transferred via these ports as well. Okay, but they are the boundary. And to go through some common ports, starting with this one, which is so common, I really hope you recognize this as USB. USB stands for Universal Serial Bus. A bus in computing is another word for a wire. And the universal aspect is because they're so widely used, right? USB is used in lots and lots and lots of places. Serial is about how it transfers data. Serial means one at a time. It's not in parallel. And serial is generally a good thing in, um, in transferring data. Doing things in parallel can cause issues, actually. Now, with USB, both data and power can be transferred. You might have charged up devices using USB. So it's not just data, it's also power. And the benefit is, it's very widely used and very widely standardized. Any device you buy with a USB port, you can know fairly confidently it's going to work with most of your cables you've got already. Although saying that, there are quite a few different types of USB. The later versions, USB-C, USB 3.0, are faster than older versions, so there are different, slightly different ports and slightly different versions of USB. Now to give you another one which is less commonly used, it's got the name on it, otherwise you might not be able to recognise this one. This is called Firewire. So Firewire is really a brand name of a product by Apple. So Apple developed Firewire back in of the back end of last century, so quite a long time ago, as a competitor to USB. So it does the same job as USB, um, but is a little bit different, and it is less widely used nowadays. Modern Apple products use the latest version of USB um, and a, a, an Apple adapted version. But FireWire is more expensive than USB, which is partly why it's not used or hasn't been used as much. But in terms of one slight benefit, USB can't really be used for networks, but Firewire can be used to set up very simple networks, in particular peer-to-peer -peer communication. So if you want to give a benefit, it does allow very simple networking. Now to go through some more common ports, we've talked about SATA before when we looked at storage. SATA stands for Serial AT Attachment. That acronym is not very useful to learn, but what is important you know is SATA is for storage devices. Okay, so SATA transfers data between other components and storage devices. So here we've got a SATA or six SATA ports on a motherboard. This cable will snake away and connect up to say a hard drive or an SSD or an optical drive. So they're used in most normal computers for data transfer. We looked at how things like SCSI and SAS are for more powerful methods. Now SCSI and SAS are not ports, SATA is a port. And next one, network. So network ports are usually things like Ethernet. So most computers have got Ethernet if they have got a wired network port. So the idea is an Ethernet connects up wired network hardware. Your Ethernet might connect up to a router or to a power line adapter or a printer or something like this. They connect up network devices. And also, part of a network sometimes is fibre channel. So a fibre channel port looks like this. 
you've got here we've got four fiber channel ports each one has got kind of like two sections to it because what's plugged in are fiber optic cables so we'll look at what a fiber optic cable is in a future video but for now all we do is use light to transfer data and because you can't transfer lights back and forwards at the same time you have to have two separate wires within one cable that's why you've got two parts of the port those other ports have only really got one part okay so fiber channels used to connect up fiber optic cables usually going to servers or other storage devices fiber optic is very fast but we'll talk more in the next video and a future one too